I have to take just a minute out to explain about Chris Carr. Hands down, the finest streamliner racer that's ever been. He's amazing. The guy is remarkable. His ability to remember where he was, how fast he was going, and what the machine is doing is constantly documented by our onboard data acquisition that you can put him here and read the acquisition here and they're the same. The guy is uncanny. The aerodynamic pressure, the dynamic pressure at those speeds is scary. Your hand, if you were to just stick your hand out the door, okay, would weigh, I'm gonna guess, 100 pounds. I mean, it's, it's, it's tremendous the, what air pressure can do. And, and you know, you, you don't appreciate it. But going that fast is like trying to run through a swimming pool full of water. It's enormous, these pressures. They say a tornado, they yell about a tornado having winds of 100 miles an hour. Well, he's going through air three and a half times that fast. So you can appreciate the kind of pressure that's everywhere. So because of that, and because the pressure isn't necessarily the same on the top as it is on the bottom, or on the side, or on the side, you just don't be cavalier and say, okay, let's turn it on and go. Do we have more horsepower? To be sure, we have more horsepower. We actually went three, three, six, seven with less horsepower than we did at 350 because of some aerodynamic changes that were made. And there's more to be made and there's more horsepower to be had. I was watching a, do a 60 minute piece about salmon going down the Columbia River and I was looking at the shape of this thing and uh, it was the ideal shape. So I called an ichthyologist friend of mine and he said that a good salmon can swim in short spurs 50 miles an hour in water. Well that's 400 miles an hour in air. 400? Yeah, I, I'm certain we'll do it, but I'm not going to guarantee when, and I'm not going to guarantee how, but we're going to do it. That is the challenge of the team.